All right, hello and welcome to your final lab. You have done it. You have made it to the end. This one's due uh, at a weird time because of Thanksgiving break. So this is your final lab. It's due, uh, going to be on a Saturday, I think. That's the one. All right, so this one's all about bitwise operations, and that is going to be all you have to do. So you'll be twiddling bits, as one says. Uh, there'll be three different functions that you're going to implement and let's go and take a look at them. So after you get the code you're going to spend most of your time in these two files bitops.h and bitops.cpp just reading things uh, and then at the very end you will add some tests to test bitops.cpp. So let's look at all those. So for bitops.h this is the library that we're going to be implementing. Uh, three functions. Check whether or not a bit in a number n is set. So for example, uh, hey, is bit 1 of the number 7 set? That is in fact true because bit 1 is this uh, second to last digit. And oh man, is it a 1 in 7. So that's the kind of stuff you're going to remember how to do. So think about what bitwise operations you need to do to make that happen. Like an arbitrary bit number, 0 through 31, is that set in the number that you were given? Return true or false. Okay. Uh, then using this, most likely, you're going to implement count bits, which takes a number and gives back the number of bits that was set in that number. So for example, for 7, again, it only has three bits that are set. So count bits of 7 should return the number 3. And uh, the final function that you'll write is called setBit, which takes a number by reference this time. We're using unsigned int so that we don't run into weird uh, shifting issues. This is just always a non-negative number. So we're taking it by reference this time, and we're actually changing the number n itself Okay, inside of this function. We're setting bit i to be whatever it was. Uh, it doesn't matter anymore. It's going to be 1 now. Okay. So set bit i of the number n to 1. Okay, that's what set bit will do. So for example, if you were to set bit uh, 0, 1, 2, 3 of 7, you would turn it into 15. Okay, so you'd, uh, n would turn into 15 like that. If n started with 7 and you gave i as 3. Okay, so just remember the bit numbers start at 0, and uh, that's the rightmost digit is what that means. Okay, so you'll just implement these things. I've made stubs for you. Uh, get them to work, and after you've gotten them to work, all of the tests should pass. So I've got a few of them in here, and uh, testing random things, all these different functions. Uh, get those to pass, and then write two more tests. That's your final job. They can be about anything. You can uh, maybe test just is bit set, or maybe test a combination of them like I do uh, down here. Okay, set bit and count bits and is bit set. So whatever you'd like, it's up to you, but two more tests. And that is it. That is all the labs you have to do in this class. You have finished. Uh, so once you're done with that, just go ahead and submit uh, those two files, the test file and then the implementation file. And yeah, that's, that's about it. So please yell at me if you have any questions. Good luck and have a happy Thanksgiving. So I will see you uh, in the next lecture, of course, but this one is due right after Thanksgiving. Remember that. Okay, I'll see you later.